Morning, everyone. Uh, today is Monday, November 11th at 8 a.m. Uh, this is going to be a free video watch list. Uh, this is free every Monday for everyone on YouTube. And then usually every day the members get a video watch list for free. Uh, so before I start, if you are new to trading or don't know anything about us or MIC, we have a free two hour uh, trading course for non members. It's at myinvestingclub.co. Uh, all you have to do is reserve your spot here. It's limited seating every single week. So reserve your spot now before space fills up. So let's get started. Um, oops. So uh, first things first, is it looks like a slow morning. Uh, I don't really see anything exciting. I don't really see anything that is, uh, that's getting me ready to trade or anything that's like, so usually Monday sets the tone for the market. There's a runner on Monday. Usually the whole week is usually fun and busy. But if there's nothing really happening on Monday, it kind of sets the tone that it's going to be a slow week. So it's all right. Let's get started. So WKHS, um, just looking at the chart, I see very clear levels of resistance at 320, 330, and 310. I'm not going to draw a line because there's a line already there. The red to green close. So... In the morning, I'm looking to short pop 310, 320, 330, and then anything above you know 335 is the exit signal. Um, hopefully, we get a pop here. This is not something I would chase on weakness. Um, just trying to keep it simple. Like this is a low hanging fruit. So I mean, the only thing that was kind of keeping this alive was SSR, and I think SSR is off today, so shouldn't be anything too crazy. Um, there. This was one I traded on Friday. I was shorting somewhere over here and I covered over here, just kind of like a boredom trade. I don't even know why I took it. The moment I realized that I shouldn't be trading it is when I took it off and then it kind of unwound. So, I mean, just trying to keep it simple. Um, I see a resistance level here around like 850. Um, I see something around 870, which is VWAP from yesterday. And I see around 890. So the plan is gonna to be to scale 850, 870, 890. So if you're using 30% rule, 10%, 10%, 10%, and then any pop over this level is the exit. Again, these are not ideal setups. This is not anything that I'm obsessed with or love or excited about. This is just something that if it gets there, I'm going to have my orders ready. If it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, I don't give a fuck. ENG, another one. Um, looking to see. There's not really much meat on the bone to chase this red move. So <clears throat> ideally, I need meat. I need a push. I need some some range. So looking for this 120. And you know how I got 120? If you look at this, previous support now becomes resistance. So 120 lines up with that, lines up with the VWAP. So anything over 120 should reject. And that's going to be the easiest trade. TRNX. Uh, this is a new one that kind of popped up in the morning. It's not really up that much. Daily charts, whatever. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Um, what I see here is a pre-market high of 120. So if we pop and reject 120, just maybe get one trade out of that. This really pops a little bit less. There's not really much edge shorting it. I mean, look, we need meat on the bone. We need this stuff to pop. We need, uh, we need the thing to go up so that when we make money, when it goes down, there's enough room for us. So uh, nothing really that exciting. I mean, it's only 8.06 a.m. right now. Maybe something's going to pop up in half an hour. And if it does, I'll mention it to the guys in the room. But so far, just don't really see anything. Um, hopefully that changes. So thanks.